Then we have objectivity and independence. The accountants must be able to perform his or her duties without pressure from supervisors. Now, of course, we're going to be working within an, an accounting field and uh, we're, we're going to have, of course, supervisors and whatnot, but we need to maintain some level of independence. We want to make sure that uh, people that are, are critical to the decision making process uh, don't feel pressured to, to do things that they believe are not you know, ethical or not of the ethical responsibility of the end product that we're trying to make the financial statements or uh, would be in such a way that would um, be pressured to do something that they think would not be um, in alignment with some of our other responsibilities, uh, principles including responsibility and uh, public interest and integrity. So we want to make sure that uh, they have that certain level of objectivity because that objectivity leads to the trust, leads to integrity, leads to, to the public interest, leads to responsibility. And then we're going to have uh, the due care. We want to make sure that the accountant must uh, remain current with regards to professional development and uh, evolving legislations. So, and part of that, of course, is, is within the profession, whether we're in a payroll profession or a certified public accountant, a certified public accountant is going to need that continuing education. And when we think about these skills uh, involved here and that specialized knowledge, uh, there, we need to both have integrity and we need to have that responsibility and that objectivity. Uh, but all of that doesn't do uh, any good. We don't still, we can't still have the trust unless we know what we're doing, unless we have the knowledge in the first place. So most of the professions in and of themselves, whether we think of a medical profession, the accounting profession, a payroll profession, a legal profession, there's really, at least you can break it down to two things that you want from these type of professionals. If you go into a doctor, a lawyer, accountant, payroll, you want to one, know that they know what they're doing. And that has to do with due care. You want someone, and that has to do with any profession, typically having a minimum standard, typically having some type of test that needs to be uh, gotten to, and typically needing to renew that information, given the fact that things change in these professions. Laws change, medicine changes, the uh, accounting profession dealing with laws change, in particular, payroll law. So we need to make sure that we have the, the current information. That's what we want when we go to professional, no matter who the professional is. And two, we want to be able to rely on them. Notice the rest of these basically has to do with uh, reliability. This one has to do with, do, we, do they have the skills needed? Do they know what to do? do I, am I talking to someone who's gonna be able to cure me or someone that can help me better myself if I'm talking to a, a medical doctor? If I'm talking to someone that's gonna be able to help me legally, do they have the skills to do that? And then we want to make sure that their perspective is the same. Are they acting responsibly? Are they in the public's interest? Are they acting basically as my agent rather than in their own personal interest, which may be counter to my interest? Do they have the integrity? Do they have that objective, objectivity and independence in order to act freely and give me advice that uh, they think is best rather than feeling pressure from on some outside source to give advice that uh, isn't as good.